Nicki Minaj is a stupid hoe! I have no idea where I put my mark, my, my, where I put my uh, remote control, so I can't zoom in today. But I'm definitely giving a heart to heart out in this video. What's going on, YouTube? It's Kevin and Mikel. We are back with a new video. I hope you guys had a good weekend. I had a good weekend. I went to a party in Delaware. Got caught in the snow. It took only 30 minutes to get there and about two hours to get home, which mm. was a hot mess. Oh, y'all went we Friday went, night? Yeah, we went Friday and night. Sat, and it started snowing. It Friday was snowing, night. yeah. We left, we left when it, but when, as soon as it started snowing, like, the roads was real bad. I didn't even know it was going to snow like that because, you know how you watch the news, they be like, oh, it's going to snow, but if you're in this area, you don't have to worry. Lies. It was snow everywhere. Snow was every goddamn where. But um, you know, after that, you know, I just stayed home and I chilled all weekend. It was a very chill weekend for me. What about you? It was cool. I went to go see Red Tails this weekend. Yes, I, I I still have to go see that movie. I definitely want to go support that movie. Yeah. Um, you want to talk about that now? Um, yeah, we can. Okay. Um, I went to go see it. It was. It was. It oh, was. One second. Mm -hmm. Please thumbs up this video and share this video on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you. It was. Um. It was pretty good. Uh. It wasn't the big extrav extravaganza like I thought it was going to be, but it was good. It told us different story, you know, a different point of view of World War II and the Tuskegee Airmen. Um, it, 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 to me, to me, probably not to other people, but to me, it felt like the movie kind of didn't the story that they were telling kind of didn't really have too much to go on so they were just trying to make stuff up as they went along but for the most part it was indeed a good movie and i would suggest that you go see it now um i found out over the past week that it cost like up close to a hundred million dollars dollars what did you just 60 say? million dollars okay because okay well then george lucas he footed 90 million well, where you hear that from? Because I heard he put $60 million. Well, I heard that he put $90, 90 million for production and $30 million for Jeez, advertising. Louise. And I think he said it himself. Yeah, he said it on Tom Joyner that he put up $90 million. That million is a him. lot of million. Now, now, what I will say is a lot of... Red Tails, I can honestly say, there was a lot of promotion for it. Um, you know, on the radio, on yeah. TV. There was a lot of promotion for it. What I did not understand is that why this weekend the movie only made nineteen million dollars and uh, they how many? Of, well, I didn't see them do a lot of interviews neither. Well, I mean, I've seen a lot of promo for it. Well, Cuba Gooding Jr. was on the View. Mm -hmm. um, Oprah did a special with George Lucas. George Lucas was on the Time Joining Morning Show. He was also on I forget what other. Sh sh show it was that I saw on the concrete loop but I can't remember what show it was the cast members were invited to the White House to see it President Obama was even promoting the film so I mean I think they mm -hmm. did have a lot of promotion uh, um, all the black blog black, sites black Hollywood was yeah you know, was definitely out and but you promotion. know what I think that they did this promotion kind of too late because when you have a film like this, you got an all-black cast. They should have been talking about this like in the summertime. Mm -hmm. That this movie is coming out and that they need our support to go and see this movie because, you know, Hollywood doesn't want to support an all-black cast. And that it actually took 25 years to make this type of movie. Stuff like that I don't like hearing because I feel if black people go out and support movies. Look at Tyler Perry. Like, he goes against Hollywood. Tyler Perry does his own thing, and we go out and we support him. So why is it that they don't feel that, you know, we will go out and support an all-black cast is beyond me. Um, you know, it's just, you know, the race, it's not even racism. It's just that, to just think that we don't go out and support our own, that's just messed up. Because I will. 
if there's an actress I know I want to see, like if Holly, not Holly Berry, like if Angela Bassett is in the movie or Alfre Woodard, I am like running to the theaters to go see it. But is Hollywood actually going off of what black people usually tend to do, which is not support? I mean, look at our music stars. When they come out with music, what do we do? We run to download it before we run to buy it. So is that kind of what Hollywood is going off of? Well, you of? know what? I think is that, first of all, we don't even have black movies like we used to. Back in, no. maybe like 10 years ago, oh my goodness, we always had like some sort of black movie. The last big black movie before Tyler Perry started doing stuff that I can think of was like Barbershop and Barbershop 2. Yeah, but those aren't big budget. Well, well, none of them are really big no. budget. They're all low budget. Yeah. But it's like we I know that we go out and support, but it's not it's not as many films. Like we had Soul Food, The Wood, uh, the what's it, what is it called? The Brothers, um uh to complete that game. See all those movies see, that you're naming they're are old. Not big, they're so yeah. old. But see also they're not really big budget movies. None of them are big because um, they don't give us yeah, that. They don't yeah, they really don't give us that. Um Maybe, I'm just thinking maybe it has something to do with because black people really don't usually go out to the movies like that. I mean, we go out to the movies, but as a whole, I mean, black people tend to bootleg things and they tend to get things for free. And even though I think that, yes, Hollywood was a little on the offside for not wanting to, but then at the same time, I think they kind of have a... They kind of had something going with that because black people usually don't tend to support things, especially black stuff, unless they're going to download it or bootleg it. And black people will tell you in a minute that they bootleg or download something. <laughs> no, but I mean, if you if you if they put this movie out, let's say if they can reach the same audience that you know Tyler Perry has, they could do so because Tyler gets people of all ages. And I'm pretty sure you. It's up to me. It's all about who you market this movie to, and where are you marketing it at? Cause I know that black people will go out and support the movie, but I don't think like they waited till this weekend for all the black actors and actresses to start tweeting. Please go support this movie. Go see this movie. Go see this movie. This should have been done months ago to get us hyped up, like how Dreamgirls was. Everybody's like, oh my god, Dream Girls is the best. You know, well, this because Dream Girls was a big production. I know, but I'm saying <laughs> that was a big production. I mean, come on. Dream Girls, a Tyler Perry you movie. Are, you Dream are. Girls had it's Eddie hard. Murphy. It's hard. It's Beyonce. hard. Beyonce. Danny. First of all, Dream Girls, if you notice too, because you said this before, Dream Girls was such a big production that they used three of the biggest stars in the world to promote the film on the cover when they promoted it. Jamie Foxx, Eddie Murphy, and Beyonce. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So Dreamgirls was a big production. It wasn't a Tyler Perry production, even though Tyler Perry does do well with his films. But I mean, some, let's be honest, Tyler Perry does well, but he when he comes out with his films, his films first weekend usually does about 25 million, probably no more than 25 million when it comes out. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it was the biggest opening, like 40 million dollars. Yeah, and sometimes the production for the movie is probably what, like 40 million? 20 something. Yeah, million. so I mean, yeah, yeah. Tyler make his money back at least a weekend. He does, but I feel for George. <laughs> he does. You're right. But see, George Lucas is going to have to wait mm. a long time before he can make back his ninety million. Mm. Especially if Red Tails only made nineteen million. And then they that. said another reason why um, black films are not, you know, supported like that because in the foreign market, people do not go see those movies. They so really that's why they don't feel like why yeah. should we put our money into this and we're not going to get anything out of it. It's funny because it's funny that they won't go and watch our movies but they'll go and support our artists when they come to their town. Mm -hmm. Like if Rihanna comes to a foreign country or Jay-Z or Beyonce or Kanye West, they run to those concerts yeah. but they don't run to see the movies which is interesting. Yeah, I mean Hollywood got to open. I guess music really does make the world go Or around. music really does not have any race. No. Isn't that what they used to say? Mm -hmm. Music doesn't have a race. Uh -huh. Like any uh, music is like uh, is everybody's thing. It's a very it's much so international. Everybody can. I don't watch black movies though. You said you do. I don't. You do, you don't. Well, I mean, look at you. You're high yellow. <laughs> Who lays front? His, and you have to see the video, the two videos that he made wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all did not, I made three videos. You are so hype with this temporary. I driver's license. <laughs> and then it has the nurse to say temporary on the phone. <laughs> Where the real one come? Yes! It comes to the house, that's why you gotta keep a lookout for it. Why is it coming to this house and not your house? Because this is my house still. You don't live here. Yeah, you should put your new address on there. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. 
So, so you guys, I made three videos this weekend, and I want y'all to watch them. The first video I did was an album, was well, not an album, a mixtape review for Division One singer Shirley's. And you know that video that I made, it caused some controversy because obviously we're not. I mean, not obviously, but because we're not making videos uh, reviewing Tierra Marie songs. And how can I pick Tierra Marie over a nobody? Um, you know, first of all, let me tell you something. She reached out to me. Anybody I see working with Rico Love, to me, they doing something right. They the shit they can sing because they ain't about to put no, you know, bullshit ass artists out. So I'm like, you know, let me check her out. I liked her song she put out. And, you know, she was like, you know, I want you to be the person that reviews my mixtape. She picked me out of everybody out there. She just, picked me. Just like, Marie? just like, no, not Tierra Marie. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Bravo TV picked us yes. to be the first bloggers to review this season of uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. That DVD? I was like, <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? Yeah, so, I got you. You know, and I actually like the mixtape. Well, you so, know, sorry to cut you off, but you know, you can do a review of Tierra Marie. I could, because you, know you, you know she did open up on our video. Yeah, I could. That was nice. But it wasn't shade. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> No, <laughs> I mean she did stand there and say you're watching the score. Yeah, I mean, and I and I and I bought her album before too. I bought her first album. I've been waiting to buy another album. And she playing games. Okay, it's been six she's years. She's too busy on loving hip hop. Yeah, and not even in the studio. Like okay, well, she out there being a rat. Well, I heard. Okay, we're not going there. No, I'm just saying. I'm talking. Well, I don't know. Is she gonna make a, a video? No, she's not gonna make a video because I love Tierra and she yeah. know that. But then you know I I went in and I'm like, well, you know, sure, at least with a mixtape out, you know, she trying to get, you know, she trying to get her name out there, she doing her thing, oh, well, you ain't supporting her, and I'm like, well, Sierra, when did, I, when I say, child, it's too much, yeah. I said, all I know is, I'm not buying no EP from Tia Marie, and if she put out a free mixtape, I'll get it, so she, so, uh, you know, they kept going back and forth, and I'm like, you know what, I'm arguing with the same person under two different names, so I said, <laughs> you say something else, I'm fucking blocking you. <laughs> so then I blocked them and then she gonna come back with another name because on my Facebook I let anybody post on my wall because everybody claim oh they can't be my friend they, I got too many friends so I, you know you can subscribe if you have a Facebook you subscribe to my page so then I blocked them and then Angel you know Angel um, Concrete Loop she saying her little thing about Tia Marie then I, I end up blocking the other person and then later on that night I'm checking it and then Tierra Marie gonna come to the post and say uh, something about it. Yes, she does. I told you. <laughs> so she kind of, I don't know where you, you must have missed her some information, but I released three mixtapes. She did, and they But were good. girl, if you Real release good. three mixtapes, I released like 10 videos. If she released three mixtapes, I didn't hear about them, and that's not her fault, okay? I don't know what's going on, but Tia Marie, I'm going to need you to like, shit, where your mixtape at now? You got a single out, but come on, what else are you doing? What else? Like, I'm not hearing. Well, Amber, apparently, Amber heard about the mixtapes. I didn't. I didn't really know. Let me so tell you something. Really all good. I know, all I know, is that Tierra just released song after song after song after song. They don't do great, but she still keep putting out songs, and I will give her that. But she's like, no, somebody gonna catch this shit. She was, Since she, she came was out with two like, songs, uh, that was good. Hunt for you and yeah, that was my song and right sponsor. There. And after that, I don't. It was I a couple others know. after that, cause she was doing the same thing that Trey Songz was doing, like putting but, out all those mixes. Mix but I want her to keep doing her damn thing, and you know when I want her to come on when the album comes out. That's when I want her on, cause I don't want to hear about no pushbacks after she come on. I want her on when she has a date, and she's gonna go with that date. And you know then she could come on the Scorpion show, but I don't want her to come on and and not have nothing to come out with. So, I'm not hating, but I'm just, you know, because it's been a long ass time we've been waiting on a Tia Marie album. But anyway, check out the review for Shalise. Download the mixtape. It's free. You're going to love it. And, you know, follow her on Twitter. And check out my review for Nicki Minaj, who we about to talk about right now. Nicki Minaj and that stupid hoe. I can't take her. Nicki, y'all already know. I need Nicki to grow up. She's like 28. Acting like she's 17. What's she doing? And y'all just, oh, oh my God, I'm a Barb and that's, I'm a Kim Bar. Sit the fuck down with that, um, little Kim, I mean, Nicki Minaj. Because now little Kim has a chance. 
Because you are think you like I said yesterday, you think you're the type of artist that can just put anything out there and no, you are not that. You are not Beyonce. You can't do that. Uh -oh. <laughs> he tried it. And it's the truth. And she is definitely not Rihanna. <laughs> okay. What the fuck you trying to say? Bitch, don't try my mother, okay? 16 I'm gonna try my mother and the and the uh godmother. Rihanna. <laughs> She's the godmother. What the fuck she tweeted? Didn't no, she? Auntie re She said, Auntie, Auntie Yeah, she <laughs> tweeted that. <laughs> no, but what did you think about... Um, I didn't see the video. But what I can say off, which I, I have listened to the song. <laughs> Nicki Minaj is dyslexic, bipolar, all of the above. Something is seriously wrong with her. I saw still shots of the video that mm -hmm. you had. It's almost as if you're watching... The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like this old woman and a young person and with a young person's mentality. Like, what the f is going on with her? Like, and she's and this new thing. I'm like, what the fuck? Is that? They like it. They love that shit because they go they off in the club. Love it. It's a stupid hoe. I forgot how it would go. And yes, I did record a video of my friend and I in my car one day driving and we were listening to the song. But the purpose of our video, which someone, Courtney from Boy Revolution, oh, did not God. seem to have caught, was we were actually making fun of the song and how stupid the song oh, so was. He just thought she was going off. He just thought song. that I was, he was trying to figure out, well, how come you gave Nicki Minaj a seat since you were going off to that song? Courtney, nobody asks Everybody you always anybody. wants to have something to say. Just shut up. <laughs> and don't say a word, okay? Mm. Let me do what I do, and you do what you do, Courtney. Which is nothing. Well, say no. Once you, <laughs> make sure y'all watch Sport. He tried me. He really tried me. He tries me. everybody. Well, why, all why, time. Well, why, well, why did you see her since you was going off on her? Because we were making fun of the song, and apparently since... You seem to have been the only person on Twitter who saw the video and didn't catch what we were doing. You know what? I'm really, <laughs> I'm really ready for Missy Elliott and Eve. I'm ready for Nicki and Minaj. Foxy Brown. I'm ready for them down. to all come back. Cause let me tell you something. Let me tell you what it is. Did you see that picture of her and Beyonce? <laughs> Lil Kim. <laughs> no. I mean not. Nicki Minaj. When she when Beyonce she pregnant first. and and Nicki Minaj is Vicky Victoria's Secret Fashion Show looking like a clown. From out of town. Oh yeah, I, I didn't see them <coughs> together. Let me tell you, Nicki Minaj is a comfortable bitch right yeah, now. Yeah, because that's look what at it, it is. When you comfortable, you could do stuff like that. But ain't no time for comfortability. You need to do stuff that's gonna keep your name out there, but bigger. But you, you know, know, Super Bass is hot. But you know why she's like that? Because don't look in this phone. Because, <laughs> because <laughs> I'm trying to find that picture. Be, oh here it is. Because, um. She blew up so fast, and by her Look blowing up pain. so fast, don't do it. Look at that because pain. she blew up so fast. She blew up so fast. The fans Why has like just. Lumpy like that? What'd you say? Why her stomach look lumpy like that on the side? Why's whose stomach look lumpy? Look at it on the side. Why who? Oh, why <laughs> whose stomach? Oh, why stomach whose stomach look, look lumpy? Look, look at it, Kevin. Look at it. Isn't that how it was when you were pregnant with your no, daughter? No, it was smooth and round. Well, Nobody's that's. You were about ho 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 ho. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't say nobody's stomach is lumpy, it's okay? Not lumpy, because not like you, you don't know whose stomach is what until you are walking in their shoes. Just because your stomach wasn't so lumpy. How's she going to put a six you... pack to a lumpy, plubby stomach? First of all, Beyonce never had a six pack. She had a nice ass body, mm -hmm. okay? She had a six pack. Okay, well, okay. And you know you should argue with him about She should, she sure should not. Especially since it's your birthday. I'm looking at it, okay? Okay. <laughs> Okay, no, no, sit down. I Why is her stomach it. lumpy? You better shut up before you get Look, out. It's right there. I see it. It ain't lumpy. That's the dress. How is it the dress? Because I said it's the dress. So anyway, make sure y'all check out that Nicki Minaj review. You tried it. And check you, out excuse, you better go through that temporary ID. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? Because I ain't never seen no never seen no temporary driver's license. A temporary, what do you call it? Temporary learner's license. permit. Yes, but not a temporary driver's license. So they put the temporaries out now and then they mailed the real ones to you. Oh, well then that, in my day, when I got my license, that's not how they did it. Well, over the weekend, we lost two <laughs> legends. <laughs> First, we lost Etta James. You know, I want to send our, we want to send our condolences out to the family of Etta James and the outpouring love and support for Etta was just crazy. You know, of course, it was expected. 
But um, there is one celebrity in particular who adores Etta James, and she went off <laughs> on the Queen Bee. Oh, not Beyonce. No, we want to tell you. Yes, Rose, Rosie, Roseanne went off on Beyonce <laughs> and President Obama, saying that Obama was being disrespectful by picking Beyonce to sing at last instead of Etta James, and how she will never support. Well, she has never heard anything else from Beyonce yeah. and Jay Z since then. Yes, exactly. And the stands went off. If you if you a celebrity and you want to get some promo, come after Beyonce. Mm -hmm. Just say anything. I can't stand that bitch, Beyonce. You know, and the stands will attack. If I tweet that right now, you know my phone's gonna go the fuck off. I never liked Beyonce anyway, and it was all about Kelly Rowland. Oh my God! If I tweet that right now, it's gonna go crazy. So you know she went off. She was and she was coming for the stands. Like I heard, I didn't even think that Roseanne could come back slick like that. I didn't see exactly what she said. Oh, and I came down. I came. I came. I found out. Well, I didn't find out about it. It happened like a few days ago, right? Mm -hmm. And I just read what she said today because when people were telling me, I was like, I don't have time because I thought it was another one of those. A celebrity said, like when Anita Baker said that thing about Beyonce and the fans attacked her when actually Anita Baker was giving yeah, Beyonce a compliment. a compliment. I thought it was something like that, so I didn't bother to read it. So then today <laughs> I read it and I was just like, wait a minute, Roseanne is really attacking Beyonce and Jay-Z. <laughs> Why she's attacking Jay-Z, I don't know. But she's attacking them for something that President Obama wanted at his inauguration three years ago. Mm, I didn't understand where that was coming from. Like I just felt as though that happened three years ago. It was over and done with. Why are you attacking Jay Z and Beyonce for what? I, I think Roseanne was wanted. probably having a drunk moment. She probably was she, drunk because and then got she turned around and then apologized. Yep. But then it seemed like she really didn't apologize. And then she was like, and you know, she was Beyonce, and then she said Beyonce is an so okay that's singer. How many and then people sitting in her video, she's like, oh, so she can really can sing. Like, she was, <laughs> oh, she was yeah, going like, in. But you know, I've done that. On Beyonce? Yeah, some people have uh, said, oh, you know, oh, oh, Beyonce's an okay singer. And then I have to not send them the songs that she's dancing, but I have to sing, send them the songs that she's really singing. And then they're like, oh, I didn't know she could really sing like that. See, that's why you shouldn't put the cart before the mule. Yeah. And see, Roseanne, she did that. And I didn't even bother to say respond back to her tweets because I just felt as though Roseanne was in the heat of the moment. You know, Etta James probably was somebody that she, she really liked, and so she, you know, she. I just thought that was unnecessary to say that. Yeah, I, it definitely it, was. It, it was, was kind of unnecessary. I just thought, you know, especially the stuff that she was saying about Obama, because then she say something like she wasn't voting for him no more, or she never liked him. See, I ain't read all of them, but I definitely she said seen something. the tweets when she was coming at things. She was. Yeah, she just. It was. They just was like, going in, and she was going right back at it. I just, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I so, just, I don't know. <laughs> so our condolences to Etta James and her family. Yes. I mean to Etta James's family. And another, we lost a Pennsylvania legend from the uh, PSU. We lost Joe Paterno. And, you know, I, I feel sad that he passed away. And especially at a time, at this time, because of the whole sex scandal, I really feel that he died of a broken heart because he got kicked out of Penn State University. That's why I think that... Um, did he, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Did he get fired or did he step down because uh, he, he was fired. like... Oh, he did get fired. I yeah. thought maybe he stepped down because he was being asked to leave and so he just decided oh, to... They, they got rid of him. They got rid of him and somebody else. Yeah, I But they never got, fired I the he, other guy yeah. that told. You know, I, I feel he died of a broken yeah, heart. I mean... And he was 85. That's That school is all he knew. Football coaching was all that he did, and to you know to give your life to some to a school like that, to give your all to a school like that, all for it to just be like goodbye, you're dismissed. Who knows what he really was feeling inside? Mm -hmm. He probably put on that front for y'all to smile and be like thank y'all. But when the yeah. media is gone and them doors are closed, it for almost fifty years. So yeah, it had oh, to. Oh man, he did an interview a few weeks before he died that they played last night on on CNN mm -hmm. and his voice sounded so like it just sounded like a broken man like and he was just speaking about the whole case and he was saying how you know he wished that you know in hindsight that if he could have done something more you know he would have you know he didn't he thought basically what he was saying was that he thought that he did everything that 
he was supposed to do because you know that was what he, he was supposed to do. do. And he said, had he not, had he known that the school didn't follow up with what they were supposed to do, whatever the case may be, he would have done more. But you know, it, it. I always, you know, before I, I remember before I used to always do that where I used to say, well, why, why didn't I do this or why didn't I do that? And sometimes you, you, you just is really, that recording? Oh, it is yes. recording. Go ahead. I'm you sorry. really can't. You, you sometimes you just can't do that. You just have to. Take yeah. it with a grain of salt and keep it moving. And I think he died. Which, like people are like, oh, well, he 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 was just guilty. I don't think he's guilty. I think if anything, he was guilty of not doing more. Yeah. Like, cause I think that's what he's that's that's how he feels in his heart. If I would have said something more, if I could have did mm -hmm. something, yeah. You know, this wouldn't have happened. I think that throughout this whole thing, that he kind of, that he to me personally, I think that he was made a scapegoat because I think that. He, even though, yes, he could have done something morally, he could have done more. You know, morally, he could have done more. But I think that he did what he thought was right, what he was told, told to, to do, do. If, if, you know, if something like that happens. Now, everybody can say, because there were a lot of people, first of all, I posted on my Facebook, you know, a picture, you know, rest in peace to him. And then people were leaving comments about the whole case. And then some people who were being extremely rude mm -hmm. and were just saying, you know, stuff like, oh, I think he was guilty and I'm not saying rest in peace to this man. First of all, I felt as though if that's how you feel, then you shouldn't have even commented. Yeah, you on shouldn't his even do anything. But I didn't say anything. But I think that he, um, I forgot what I was about to say because that just kind of threw me off. But I, 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 I honestly think that he, he was somebody who was kind of made a scapegoat, and it's 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 sad because a lot of people go on and they say, well, if this was this, and I would have did this. But a lot of times, you don't know what you would do until you're in that situation, mm -hmm. you know. Because Mark Wahlberg, the actor, he was just he had to apologize oh, yeah, recently mm -hmm. because he apparently was supposed to be on one of those planes hey, on 9/11. I don't know which plane he was supposed to be on. Him and his family were supposed to be on one of those planes. And then he did an interview recently where he said if he were on one of those planes and that happened, he would have fought back and he would have did this. And a lot of people kind of, you know, said to him, well, how can you say something like that? Because you don't know what you would have done until you're in a situation like that. And so, you know, he came back and apologized because he felt as though... Yeah, because it's making it seem like he's calling me other people. Yeah, like, like he offended a lot of people. So I think that, yeah, we all can say what we would have done. But I think that until we're in that situation you don't really know what you would do until it happens to you you know yeah. it's just like if somebody holds my head down underwater of course naturally i'll sit here and say i ain't gonna nobody hold my head down underwater. i'm gonna fight back but until it happens to you you don't know what you're gonna do i you think know? it would be a natural reaction to fight for your well, life well yeah of course it'd be a natural reaction to fight for your <laughs> life but how are you gonna do it are you gonna kick are you gonna punch how well, are you I'm gonna do going everything because i'm not gonna go down to no water i'm sorry well, see, this is what I'm. See, this is what I, this is the point that I'm trying it's to not, make. It's not going down. It's not. Uh. -uh. Cause then, anyway, you want to fight? You want to be like? You want to try to get your come up for air? Like, well, yeah. Well, yeah, of course. You want. But that's the same thing that Mark Wahlberg was saying. That he naturally he would fight back because he doesn't. But then you don't know. You know what? Now in today's thing, like yeah. the way things are, I think I would now. Yeah. No, no, no. What now. you know now? Yeah. <laughs> But pre 9 11, you didn't know Ooh, that. So, no. you, you know, you didn't know that. So, you don't know what you were going to do. Mm. Sure. But moving along. Yes. Let's talk about these. You told me about them 43 people. Oh, my goodness. So, today I was on World Star Hip Hop. I love my World Star Hip Hop because it gets me through the day at work. Since I can't get on YouTube at work. Yeah, so um, I'm going to stop them. Yes. So, in Brooklyn, a lot of you people who watch us are from New York. Shout out to New York City. Mm -hmm. Um, In Brooklyn, 43 members of two different gangs, mind you, all 43 of these individuals were under the age of 21, were arrested due to the fact that they were getting on these social networking sites like Facebook and Twitter and bragging about them shooting up people from rival gangs and doing this and even killing some people. And so, you know, of course nowadays the law enforcement are using these social networking sites to capture these criminals, including people who get on Facebook and brag about stuff like this. And 43 members of two different gangs were arrested <laughs> and they even showed their mug shots and then when i tell you these were teenagers they were teenagers and some were even female i know what this world coming to i just don't know 
I just don't know. People don't. You know what? It's because they're dumb. Like, <laughs> yeah, it is. You your know IP address could be tracked. Apparently, you know that's why? what happened. You know why? Because I was in the barbershop the day, day before yesterday. And I was sitting in there with my friend because he cuts hair. And so the last guy that he did was a young teenager. And it made me so mad because he was. I tweeted about it too. He, as he was getting his hair cut, he started playing on his phone a video of him having sex with this girl. You seen that? <sighs> no, but I heard it. No, no, he lifted it up for us to see it. Yeah, he did. So then after he, you know, was just so happy about the fact that he was able to record him having sex with this girl. He then said, what is the girl's name who, who they posted on the internet a few months ago? Was Amber Cole? Yeah, Amber he Cole. He then said, I'm going to Amber Cole this hoe next week and I'm going to post it all on Facebook. And so I said to him, mind you, I don't know this boy. This is my friend's friend slash customer. I said to him, because I was the oldest one in the, in the barbershop at this time, I said to him, why would you do that? He said, because um, I want to expose this hoe. And I said, well, don't you know that you can go to jail for doing something like that? He said, no, I, how are they going to catch me? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said to me. He said, well, how could they catch me? I said, well, you know, you could, you know, by you uploading, they can, you know, find your, you know, IP address and all that stuff, and they can trace it back to you. I said, but furthermore, why would you want to do that? Especially, and I, because I, at first I didn't know if the girl knew that he, she was being recorded. So I said to him, I said, did she, did the girl know that you were recording her? He said, no. I said, so that's mm. even more reason why you shouldn't do that, because in some states, doing something like that is illegal. I said, you know, and even in certain states, recording a phone conversation is illegal. Well, doing that in this state is not illegal. And I knew he didn't know, and neither did I. So I said, yes, it is illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he didn't know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know either. But I had to scare his ass. So I said, yes, it is illegal. It's illegal in the state, so he's going to sit there all quiet. I said, you, you know, you shouldn't do stuff like that, because not only that, this girl didn't even know you were recording her. I said, I can see if she knew you were recording her. And that can kind of be a different story, even though you still shouldn't she upload it. But you, she does not even know you recorded her. And then my friend who was um, cutting his hair, he had a better angle of the video. And he said that at the end of the video, you never saw the girl's face. But the boy himself, at the end of the video, goes like this on the camera. I said, so you stupid because you put your face. Oh, I'm going to block my face up. Bye, I said, you know girl. What? I said, and I tweeted that. And if anybody follows on me, me on Twitter, you'll go back to... Two days ago on Saturday when I tweeted, I said this generation, some in this generation are so dumb. Like you just We need to start dumb. talking to schools around Philly. They start paying, we could start talking to schools. Like because this is uh, like I feel bad. Dumb. Like what And he was adamant about it, Kevin. He was like, no, I'm gonna upload this next week because I wanna expose this hub. That's what he called I'm her. Praying, I'm praying that the people that robbed my nephew this weekend, and when I say rob, <laughs> I mean they robbed. Who? Jeremy. Oh, I no. mean, when that his was, house? He out in Yay. And if y'all see any tweets about robberies on Facebook or Twitter, let me know. I went, I, because I want, I want them to get them locked up. I'm talking about when they robbed him. I mean, they robbed him all the way down to his drawers. <gasps> all they took the his clothes off. I am look. I'm mad talking about this. All the way down to his drawers. Made him take everything off. So I want to catch him. You know, is this fucked up that we? Who was he with? This is in Brandon's neighborhood. Yeah, he was with somebody leaving. I guess late at night. I don't know. That's why I don't do. I don't, I don't walk the streets. I told you when I got robbed. I don't do that. Did I tell you? I told yes, you. When I you got told robbed. me about that. Oh my god! And he see, he know what their faces look yeah. like. I mean, I, I don't want to tell you about the whole thing on camera. Good luck to yeah. him because one of the people, one of the five people who robbed me one night, went to high school with me. I positively identified him. We went to court and everything. He was found not guilty because he wasn't the one that actually had the gun. It. Like when you when you I, I I look, let me tell you something. I have faith in the justice system, Lord knows I do, but the justice system failed me that day. Oh, they failed me that day. 
Oh, they felt me that day. Thank God all they took was a cell phone and $8. How does five people split $8? Lord only knows. But that's all they got. Mm -hmm. I mean, they took every damn thing. I'm mad about that. It's true. And, like, it's and not, so he was with somebody when he got yeah, robbed. So they did yeah, take him to the yeah, but I heard No, but I heard the boy got away. He was trying to fight. You know, they had a gun. Anytime there's a gun involved, yeah, you bitch, go. you can, yeah. girl, you can take it all. You know, that's Jeremy thing, like, yeah. But the guy went to the police station, but I don't want to talk about all this yeah. on camera. But yeah, it's just, it just make me mad. Make me real mad that you got people out here. Get a fucking job. Go do something. You got to rob somebody just to eat? Are you fucking serious? It's not that, it's not that serious. It's not that, that hard to get a job at McDonald's to provide for yourself did, and your family. Did he say how many of them? Oh, not your family. It's about maybe two, two guys. It's hard. But he know what they look like. He can describe Positively to you what they look like. Yeah. yeah. Like how you robbing people and showing your face? I'm just glad my nephew had his life, you know? Yeah. I'm glad about that, but I'm mad as hell. I am mad. I am mad. Yeah, so these 43 people, they all belong in jail. They, they belong in jail, and y'all need to grow up. Stop doing stupid <laughs> shit. If you do something stupid, why put, oh, yeah, I did this, and I did that, and yes, girl, you know I got these credit cards, and, guess, and I'm going and over the and, and, and guess what happened? Guess what, guess what else happened? Because I'm not done. So they were interviewing this one lady whose mother, whose elderly mother, had been robbed several times by a few of these people. But this is how, not the police, no, not the police, her. This is how the daughter found out who robbed her mother because they were getting on Facebook break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the? And the daughter found out, I don't know how she found out, but she found out who they were mm -hmm. on Facebook. It's like, Pyre was one of her mutual <sighs> friends. It's like, damn, ain't that your mom getting robbed? Stupid. <laughs> Y'all need to wake up and grow up. And I hope the people that watch the scripted show ain't the type of people that's doing stupid like shit that. like yeah. that. Because yeah. if you are, you need to wake up. And if you know anybody doing it, wake them the fuck up. I just can't fathom the fact that you would get on. If anything, if you do something like that, you want to hide the fact that you did that. Well, you don't want nobody to know <laughs> that you did that. Well, I did tweet that I did get a free bottle of liquor. Cause the lady was such in a rush. No, no, I don't mean that. I know, I know, but I I'm mean, just saying. I mean, you go out there and, and, and shoot and people and, bank, and then kill somebody, and then you. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how look, this is how the cops were saying that they knew that they were killing somebody because the word that they used for killing somebody or shooting somebody it was like a cold word, mm, mm, mm. and it was like. Uh, I'm going forty-three. People that, and all 43 of them were under the age of 21. Well, thank God what is street. going on with this gender <laughs> gender generation? Generation! Wake up! That's all I'm gonna tell y'all. Wake up! Oh my God! Speaking of people that need to wake up, <laughs> let's get into our little reality thing. Well, this is gonna be a short video because we got my boys, ATL, the Braxtons, and that's it. Oh yeah, Miss Kylie, we gonna save up for the end. <laughs> my wives, my wives. Woo! What a fun episode. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <clears throat> so Renee, either you're bipolar or you were drunk. And another thing, Junior, let me just put this out there. Junior ain't fucking you. Let me tell you something. No, he's not. Sometimes when it's so good, you go around looking for shit to clean up. Okay? I wouldn't be worrying about no crumbs. You went off the crumbs, cursing out children. I mean, you were yelling for 30 minutes. Now, either VH1 told you to do this, to stay on TV, or bitch, you really are crazy. Something ain't right with you. I love you, but something ain't right. You ain't never leaving Junior, so stop putting on this front for us. Mm -hmm. I thought you were done with him, what, 15 years ago? Y'all been divorced? And now he moving this shit back in? No. It ain't, it's not even getting ready to go back to jail. And she want his stuff? I, I don't know. No, because she... No, because he's getting in her head because he knows that she's dumber than the box of Bronx. <laughs> and so he knows that... 
since he's going back to jail, he can mm -hmm. ease his way back in there with her so that when he gets Get out of jail, mm -hmm. he'll have a place to stay. He knows that while he's in jail, he'll have somebody sending him money, somebody sending him draws or whatever the hell he's sending And he's still going to be talking to Victoria yeah. and Elaine and Rosie and all of them. And what did he say to he her when they was at the table? He told her, no, the reason why we didn't work out because you didn't, didn't let me do what, do what I, I wanted to do. And she said, but you wanted to sleep with other women. And he didn't even deny it. Okay. Like, what he was young. Shit. I mean, see, that's why I don't think young people should get married. Because you ain't done playing. You ain't done playing around and doing what you want to do. You know so don't lock yourself up like that if you know. If you know for sure you ain't ready. And, um, and, and um, your son. Oh. Oh, you should be hear what, his ass. Did you hear what she said he did? He broke the door no, down. No, she said he kicked the door down. Yes. <laughs> and then she had the nerves to wait until Junior came home to tell him. You know so what? When Junior came home, Junior should have saw papers on their kitchen counter that says, I need you to sign this because I just killed our son and I need you to sign the paper. You see something like this? Dead. He would have been dead if he kicked my door down. You oh, fucked him up. So you find the biggest thing you can find and fuck them up with it. <laughs> That's what you do. It ain't, no more, it ain't no more time for talking. When you fuck up something I bought, you tear shit up at my house and you ain't got shit. Fuck that. You fuck them up with something like this. Get them. And that's the, all, I want goofy, the biggest thing you can first find. First of all, for her goofy little son to try to kick down any damn thing. Mm -hmm. And then the survivor's going to try to make an excuse to him. Oh, well, he has a girl. He maybe Let me tell you, he needs some pussy. Well, you know what? Yeah, he does need He's some. He's too strong yeah, to be doing shit like, like that. that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what it is. He needs some. Woo! Let me tell you something. <laughs> when you don't have sex in a while, you become very strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. But you do. Okay, for her son to have all that anger and animosity up and start kicking doors in and shit, mm -hmm. and then cursing her out, it's time to get him counseling. So no, it's time right. to for him to go. Yeah, it's time for him to go. Because he's no, he's only eight, he's eighteen. Oh, 18. oh, okay. Eighteen or seventeen. I've known people who were out younger than that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anytime you start kicking shit in, then that means that you can go <laughs> and buy your own shit. Anytime you want to kick my shit in, mm -hmm. that's a sign that you have enough money to not only pay for my shit, but then to pay for your own shit. Yes. Because you won't be living in here. Because mm -hmm. now she got to worry about locking her doors at night. Because he probably coming in there standing over her bed. Mm -hmm. While she sleep. You probably you know, I just You know what? I don't like that type of stuff. I don't like that type Renee, of stuff. you need to put your motherfucking foot down. Because she puts her foot down with the rest of those girls. Mm -hmm. She needs to put her foot down with her own son. Big Ange, let me just tell you, boo, Big I love you. Ange. But you know what? I don't know what was going on <laughs> in your head when you decided to keep doing all of those changes to you. Because your Twitter default is the bomb. You could tell bitch I got money, I am fabulous. And now I haven't seen her Twitter before, but I know that did picture that, oh, that they had, that's oh, that old picture of her. Mm -hmm. And for her to have that old picture up of her, and of she how she better. used to look, huh? and so, it's almost as if you want to say, why, 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 mm -hmm. why? That that would be my first question. Why? Because her her surgery is so bad that when they first showed her in the beginning, I thought she was a man. Mm -hmm. I did because I you couldn't tell me she. I couldn't tell me. And her titties, like, girl, I'm like, no, that, that's Big Angelo. That is Big Angelo. And to no know Angela. that she was that beautiful as a young woman, mm -hmm. she was that, and she was not, there was nothing ugly about her. Mm -mm. Maybe it's just that, that self-conscious thing, like. But she didn't have nobody around her telling her that, look how beautiful you are, you don't. Look how mm. beautiful you are. She should have had somebody tell her that before she did that surgery. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, she mm -hmm. should have, I'm sure she talked to somebody before she had the surgery done and told them that that's what she was going to do. And you mean to tell me they didn't stop her to say, but why would you want to do that? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, why? Why? Why does Monday come before Tuesday? I don't know. I don't know. But can we talk about Miss Karen? If I had. <laughs> no, bitch, because you know. You know I got to go in on this bitch. <laughs> You know, because, I, you know I had to see her last night. Yes, yeah. I told you. I said, bitch, you see better it? call whoever <laughs> yes. and add her to the motherfucking seat. And she deserved to be front and center. And she went, because wait, wait, wait. Mind you, before we added Nicki Minaj, she had her own little two seats. Look at her. Yes. <laughs> put, put her front, put front and center. center. Front. Now, this is, my, this is my seating chart that you all have been asking to see. Some of you didn't know. And as you can see, Karen is sitting right there next to Drake, and right next to her is Nikki. I added Nikki earlier to that. But I'm gonna let. Uh, <laughs> yes, I have, to, I have to go in on Karen because Karen, first of all, 
Let me tell you something. This fight. No, first let me get on Drita. Drita, let this fucking fight go. Yeah. This fight was weeks ago or days. Or, I don't know how long ago it was for y'all, but yeah. your eye looked fucking fine. Yeah. And you still worried about, oh, well, did you hold me, Derek? Or oh, I think yeah, I got snuck. Yeah. Bitch, it don't matter. You got hit. You got. It's over with. Let it go. You you still talking about it? You won't let it go. Okay. Now now fucking Ramona. R Ramona I'm done with her. She thinks she this tough bitch. You ain't shit without Karen. You know how you know how people be tough when they're around somebody. Then when they by themselves, they bitch out. That's the type of person Ram Ramona reminds me of. She's just big, loud, all talk and no action. Mm -hmm. So anyway, Karen, Karen likes to try to defeat people that you know that look weak to her. And Karen is a bored bitch. She needs a man. <laughs> first things first, she need a man. She don't have no man in that big ass apartment she got. So she bored, which means she's miserable and she's a lonely bitch. And when you're lonely, you gotta do something that entertains you. And that means go, let's let's make other people's lives miserable. So what does she do? She sits there on the balcony because it's raining. She ain't nothing else better to do. She calls Carla. Carla, yeah, girl, you know I haven't seen you since the big thing. Uh -huh. And I think that we should talk about it. And bitch, you waited all of this time. I'm talking months just to call Carla to find out what's going You know I got to get closer because I can't find my remote. So you call Carla just to find out what's going on with her and you want to talk about this fight. Like four or five months later, bitch, sit the fuck down. So Carla comes over and y'all talking. Then you start talking about Drita. But no, I thought you wanted to talk about the motherfucking fight. Now you sit here talking about Drita. And no, bitch, you're not going to sit there and read Drita in front of me because that's my bitch. Yeah, yeah. Anybody sit there and talk about McCall and sometimes some of my friends, no, bitch, you're not going to go in. Don't talk about my friend. I work with him. That's my friend. You're not going to sit there and talk about my friend. If you want to sit there and have a conversation about me and you. So you seen me laughing. No, bitch, you ain't see me laughing because if you saw me laughing you would try to fight me too at that fight what happened was you happened to watch the show and seeing that she was laughing in the motherfucking background so now you got a problem with Carla. Uh, so now you sitting there with Carla and Carla like, well, bitch, you got a problem. You know, you getting up like she's supposed to back down from you because you's a big bitch. And Carla got right the fuck up and read you your motherfucking rights. And then you're going to try to sit there and say, oh, no, well, let's be friends. Yeah. You know, we cool. Fuck out of here, uh, uh, Cameron. Cameron. But you you want to be Carla from because you want to get the tea Three. on what's going on with Trina yeah. saying uh -huh. about you. Bitch, I know about slimy bitches like you. I know all about bitches like you. And Carla, if you know what's right for you, you will not befriend her. You call Drita and you tell Drita everything that went on and then y'all have a tag team fight and have it at WrestleMania. Cause that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna be fucking Carla and Drita versus Ramona and Karen. Two lonely bitches with Big Angelo as the referee. How you doing? Karen, you got the motherfucking nerve! I That's can't. why I said her. <laughs> Karen is by fucking power. Yes, like, are you serious? She said one thing I said. Well, about, bitch, get, get up. Get up then. When I said I was coming for you, I was talking about you too. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? It didn't look like it. <laughs> talking about I had a... Bitch, you would have been brought Carla's name up a long time ago. Yes. She's seen the fucking, she's seen the <laughs> repeat of that the fight. <laughs> the producers caught up in that back room and said, look, we're going to need you to start okay. fighting up. With your bored ass, set her on some dates. Ramona but Karen uh, talks like she's like out of it. Like yes. she talks like she. But like, she talk like, no, Karen probably couldn't throw down. But No, like, I mean, Karen talks like she has a mental problem. Meaning, one minute you don't know if she's mad at somebody or not. Like, what is this? Wait, she was just mad at Carl, and now she's coming some little bitch. Come on, yeah, cause, friends. now, because you're a loyal bitch. bitch. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I am loyal, bitch, and I ain't got no ties to be loyal to, to you. you. Okay? Mm -mm -mm. Can't, can't believe that. Bas bas not basketball vibes. Atlanta Housewives. I just I, I don't want to defend Marlo because she's so materialistic to me. Yeah, sure. I mean, it doesn't make it's it's kind of like I've never had this before, mm -hmm. and ooh, look what I have. Mm -hmm. This is what happens when God gives you everything when you're talking to the right dick or sucking the right. You know what? I'm not gonna go in. But Marlo, I'm trying to get well, Marlo. You know you, but you know what? I, I understand. What, I agree with what you're saying. I mean, Marlo closet is fabulous. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. You can't hate on that. But Marlo is one of those people, like you said, 
that you can tell that she didn't have nothing and now she's come into something so now she's just so fabulous yeah. and the people on Twitter and Facebook are eating it up oh yes Marla you got this bag and you got that bag but, but Marla is a prime example of somebody who came from nothing and they don't know how to act once they get the first something. thing Nene walked in the house I love that Gucci bag like what like who talks like that there is one person that I can honestly say that I really really like now and I could not stand her when she first started is Phaedra mm -hmm. because Phaedra has her own shit she got her own shit Love together mm -hmm. she wear you know she has her but Phaedra don't go around acting like that mm -hmm. she just don't go around acting like that because Phaedra let you know, you know, I, this is not me. This is not what makes me. Like, Marlo, I understand you are now in the position to I, to, I still don't know what she does. I don't know what Marlo does. I just don't. I'm she sure this show. from God. You yeah. know? Is that what she said? Yes. Well, where the does. fuck, which God is she praying for? <laughs> I don't know. Because I go to church every Sunday. Mm -mm. And I don't. You know, I thank God for everything I have, even when I don't have nothing. Mm -hmm. I still thank Him. All right. Okay. Amen. I still thank Him, even when I don't have nothing. Well, what is, what, what? That must be her uh, pimp's name, God. Mm. It got to be God. That must be His middle name, God. Maybe. John God. Duh. I like that. <laughs> John God. Duh. That got to be her pimp name. Cause I'm not understanding where Marlo is getting all this stuff from, and yet Marlo is making it. She got all about, man's yeah, it's home. all about materialistic things to her. It is okay to have Louboutin, Louboutins. It's okay to have Gucci. But don't make it, don't make that seem like that's, that's all, all you are. That, that, that's what you are. Because that's what I'm getting from you. Is that that's what you are. You know what I mean? Like, first of all, if I'm giving somebody a tour of my house, the closet is the last thing I'm going to give them a tour of. Yeah, that's is, not even something that I think you know I would what? want to show somebody. Is my closet. Sometimes things are just better left unsaid. Yeah, or at Kim's even. house. That house is fucking fabulous. You don't hear, yes, I got this and I got that. And I got this from Neiman Marcus. Child, I don't know all these labels. But child, because I'm not a label hoe like Nene said. But I, thought, I would think that Nene and Marlo would not get along. But they get along very well. well because they're both the same way. They both came from nothing, and mm -hmm. now they have. They think that they are something because they have all this materialistic things. But well, that like, only turns on maybe, people that like that kind. Yeah, of stuff. well, it, it does. Cause I have a. There was a bunch of people in my timeline last night who was just eating it up. They were loving it, and I'm saying to myself, but this is the prime example of people who don't come from nothing, and you can tell that they ain't never had. That's what you call new money. New money. People like Soldier Boy. Remember that Soldier Boy last year, two years ago, when he was coming out the Gucci store and the paparazzi were taking pictures of him, and oh, what he about took that, the receipt bro? over to the paparazzi for them to take a picture of the receipt. Like, who does that? Like, who does that? Like, who would do that? Who takes the receipt over to the paparazzi so they can see how much money you spent in the Gucci mm -hmm. store? Well, the same thing with Nene did about that. I mean, the jewelry, to me, jewelry is not worth no fucking ten thousand dollars. I don't know what the fuck they. But bought. you know, Nene was complaining about that ten thousand yeah. dollars, but yet she was saying how rich I'm she rich, was. bitch. But I'm a uh, what you call that? A consumer? What you call that? Uh, uh frugal. Frugal. Yep. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? But then you know what? If you're a frugal spender, Nene, then you should not have gotten on TV a few episodes ago and, and proclaimed mm -hmm. how rich, rich you are. Mm -hmm. And then tried to change your story around on what's ha happening live with Andy when people like me read your ass about <laughs> being rich and happiness and in, mm -hmm. and, and, and in security and in your faith. And then all of a sudden, then you want to get on which, watch what happens live and tell Andy, oh no, when I said I was rich, I didn't mean like that. I meant that I'm rich and happy. No, bitch, you saw the episode of the Scorpion Show when I read your ass down and then you want to change your story uh -uh 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 -uh. rich people don't walk around saying they're rich they just don't do that they don't do that because you don't need to proclaim that like you can instance, look at somebody and black people don't walk around saying i'm black mm -hmm. why do i need to tell you i'm black your eyes is working perfectly fine as far as i know you can tell that i'm black unless you're colorblind but even still if you were colorblind you can still see that i'm darker than J julia roberts right mm. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up. I mean, cause you can't tell without any color that if somebody's darker than the next. Yeah. I'm just saying, Nene, you don't need to go around talking. Marlo, like I said, Marlo has a fabulous closet, but Marlo, sweetheart, I guess I can't even say this because the episode was already filmed. You know, mm -hmm. I just think that people need to be mindful that and be learn humility. Yeah, learn to have humility. You know, learn to have humility. And you know, people like, well, she got. You seven. can pick up the, the, the latest issue of Vogue or 
or GQ magazine. When's the last time you picked up the Bible? Hey, man. When's the last time you picked up a dictionary? When's the last time you picked up a mystery novel? But you can tell me the spring collection of 2012, Louis Vuitton and Gucci and all that. Marlo, sweetheart. All I know is y'all better be throwing money at your motherfucking laptops. Marlo, Marlo, <laughs> Marlo. <laughs> you. I'm coins. Let me tell you something, Marlo. Because I got to wipe my hair. I got to get my hair off my face. Mar <laughs> <laughs> I ain't doing it. Yeah! Marlo. <laughs> you are a woman. You know what? I don't really. You know what? You. I don't know what it is you did mm -hmm. to get to where you are. I'm still trying to figure it out. And how they trust them with those seven months. And how they trust you. But Marlo. You know what though? People keep saying, oh, she got seven months. She got seven months. <laughs> I just want to get to know her without judging her. That's, that's, what, that's what I want to do. And, and you know what, Kevin? That's what I want to do too. But it's making it. She herself is making it very hard for you not to judge her because of her old attitude. I can see if Marlo came out and had those seven mug shots and she did confess to me that she did have those seven mug shots and then she walked away and had the most humblest attitude and was just humble and tried to turn. But she is, she's just like, yeah, I did that and you know, whatever the case may be. Oh yeah, but look at my closet, I'm wearing Louis Vuitton. Like I see they say she got like, she got uh, credit card fraud and everything, so somebody else done bought that for her with a credit card. I don't know. Maybe God blessed her with somebody else's credit card information. I don't know, doing crafty stunts and everything. I mean she but, does live in Atlanta. But that house but okay, okay. And she knows some queens. Okay. No, a couple of queens, simply Marlo. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Marlo, I want to not judge you, but you're making it very hard for someone not to because you are just giving people the reason to, like, you just make your, you, your whole attitude on the show is, yes, if I don't have this or if I don't have this latest yeah. thing, then. And apparently, Nene, let me tell you something. I am, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm bored, but apparently none of these bitches ain't really doing nothing. I mean, we watch this every Sunday. <laughs> For what? Yeah, because I mean, really Sheree can't get her child support check no more, so that means she has absolutely <laughs> no nothing going in. on. Kim, you just had a baby. Okay, your boyfriend's going to to the Football camp. Game. Okay, wow. <laughs> wow. That's the wow factor. Uh, Phaedra, you want to own a funeral home, and we see that Apollo works, but we don't know what he's doing, like Tommy. I was told that he works as a repo man. Girl, I <laughs> where? And why ain't the cameras following him? And why is he always dressed up? What? He looks good. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to play him, but I'm just saying. Juicy guesses. Uh, Petra. All Petra do is cry. Who's Petra? Peter. Peter. All, she <laughs> <laughs> All she do is cry. I haven't done anything Well, at least you. he was honest when he told Cynthia he wasn't going to miss her. <laughs> yeah, he got his drone on the side. His dude. You know, he was on A for A. I've seen him. So, anyway. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. Huh? Allegedly, I saw people Alleg before they start saying, "Oh, you don't see he was on it." He now be so uh, uh, allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> so no. I don't think this. Uh, mind you. Okay. Can I just make this, this very clear? If I, if anyone comes across an account of mine that is A for A, BGC, BGC. jacked. Or any of those grinder. other, yeah, grinder, any of those things. It is not me. I've never had an account on any of those sites. I've never had. An but account. it may be me. And I, I don't say plan that. on to open up an account. Yes. So I told you somebody wrote me recently. Told me that somebody mm -hmm. had a fake account on Jack of me. Mm -hmm. I said, what the heck? Should people be acting like they us and chat? I don't know. Child, yeah. We, we getting names now. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. They be like, well, did somebody wrote me on BGC. I didn't know that you had. Yeah, I had one for a long time. Yeah, I just yeah. I just need to make it But McCall is not, McCall is not that type of guy. So no, I don't if, you see, if you see I mean, anything. You do it. It's to each his own. Let me know. But I don't. But I had, you know, I had to get my um fake profile off of A4A because yeah. Somebody using my picture, and it and A for A was like, well, if this is really not true, then we need you to take a picture with the date. <laughs> and I had to send them a picture with the date so they could take the fake profile off. Talk about child, it's just was a you know what? Somebody when that person told me that somebody was on Jack that was pretending to be me, I didn't even bother to go and see. Was it a good picture? I don't, I don't know, really but know. they said he 
He told me that the person was talking and saying all this different stuff, and he said the way the person was talking, they kind of knew that it that wasn't me. Yeah. And I was just like, you know what? I don't even want to go through that hassle trying to get it taken down. Just let them pretend they made for a while. Let them, let them think that they're going to get some ass, and then when it's time to go get some, they realize they can't get that. Yeah. Well, I don't care. Okay. But yeah, I mean, the Housewives of Atlanta, they are getting boring, and I'm ready for Bravo to clean house. <laughs> I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. See, initially I was reading Sheree when I said, but Sheree, because I tweeted her, I said, you know what? You need to leave the show and ask Bravo to give you your own fitness show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was reading, but then she's like, you know what? I like that. That's a good idea. Well, you know, I probably, no, I know Shay, I probably will watch because her body is together. Her body but, is all that. And you know, Bravo got cooking shows. They got entertainment shows. There's room for fitness. Definitely. On yeah. the weekends. Put her on weekends. Um, like around one o'clock in the morning. Let me stop. <laughs> Put number no, Kesha on right yes. in front of Housewives. Come on. Mm -hmm. And Candy got her show about to come on in March. It's gonna be a pilot. I seen her on 3LW TV, and she also said Bravo about the clean house too. But it's it's time because you're not doing anything. Especially at ATL Housewives. Them other um, Beverly Hill bitches, they got coins. Okay. Coin, oink, oinks. Okay, the bank go oink, oink, oink when they throw the coins in there, bitch. That's how much coins they got. But uh, I don't watch them, but, you know, I don't know. But I know y'all been tweeting me saying that Bad Girls Club come on. I am going to watch it. I'm going to watch I'm No, I'm a DVR it, and if I like it, then I'll talk about it for the whole season. But I've got to find a way to mix them together where it don't be a bunch of videos. So I'll, I'll see what I can do. Because you know you got The Voice about to come back on. You going to watch The Voice? Super Bowl? No, he ain't going to watch. I'll watch that. I'm, try, it's too much going on. I'm not into the whole singing competition show. So I am into it because on Super Bowl Sunday come, that show is going to have the most ratings ever. So that means they got to pull out all the stops. What, the Super Bowl? Yep, oh, yeah. Because it's coming on right after the Super Bowl. Yeah. So that means they got to pull out the stops for the second season. Yeah, I just don't really get into the singing shows because I just think it's just way too many of them. Yeah, and I don't know who, I don't know what's who wins, <laughs> what they win and where they go. I don't even, I, I don't even know who's the last five or three former American Idol I, can't I just really don't know. Because I lost interest in Yeah, so. I, I don't know if they took it to that. So, but can I just say, on Braxton Family Vice, because this is not going to be long, all I have really had to say is, those girls really need to put their egos aside. Like, I felt bad for Tony. And I felt bad for Tony when I was at the Georgia Music Hall of Fame. Because when I was in that car, I was reading the whole time after the show. Remember I'll tell you about, uh, what's her name? I said she looked like Ruby D. Green. Oh, no, Jasmine Guy. I was reading Jasmine Guy and everything. And I kept saying, everybody got a performer. And Tony Braxton don't have no performer. What the hell is going on? Like... Tony Braxton has the biggest name out of everybody on this show, and she can't get nobody to perform for her. They not get nobody that. Not knowing that they were supposed to fucking perform. And the sisters and they didn't still, even tell you. They sure didn't. <laughs> they probably, I know they had to feel bad because I was going in, in that car. I was like, that is fucked. I, well, that's funny that you were going off and not one of them seemed to mention the fact that they were supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Not even Tamar. She didn't even tell me. And that's and supposed she, to be your Ace cool. Mm-hmm. Because she knew I was going to read her. She know, she know. And she gonna, gonna call me this weekend to my oh, so I already know I'm not even gonna watch because I know what y'all going No. Watch what? This video? Yeah, I said no, cause I'm not saying nothing bad about you. Like to me, man's like, girl, do you? Do ain't nothing we can say. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let me just say this. I'm not gonna say nothing else. I'm gonna just say this. Yes. People are really upset with me on Twitter. Mm. They are saying that just I am playing favorites. Okay. How you doing? I keep saying that. I, you know what? She Tamar <laughs> Tamar earned a C a long time ago. A long time oh, A long time ago. But I just keep holding out. Because I keep saying, I'm gonna give her a chance, I'm gonna give her a chance. Just like I was giving Nicki Minaj, I mean yeah, Nicki Minaj a chance, and I was giving Nene a chance because I still haven't sat Nene. Nee. I said I'm gonna give Tamar a chance. I'm gonna keep giving her a chance. I just feel as though <laughs> that sooner rather than later, mm -hmm. she's going to have a seat. But you know what? But I feel as though I'm going to have to call her and pre-warn her. Because I think she's the only person that I'm going to beat seat. Yes. And I have their phone number. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just call her and say, look, Tamar, you know I love you. You know you're my sister to the end. <laughs> you know we go way back to the Mandarin Oriental. Mm -hmm. 
but I'm going to give you a seat. Mm. And then I'm going to piece by piece tell her why. Oh, she's going to be very upset. Then Vince going to call, then we're going to have to... Then I'm going to have to get one seat. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get the whole family a seat. Because I already gave Gabe a seat. Oh, God. And you know, after I gave Gabe a seat, I haven't heard from Gabe since. He went MIA. He, he ain't going to twirl no more. He ain't going to twirl no more. He ain't going to twirl no more. Child. He needed that break. Mm, mm, mm. So I just I just think they need to put them egos aside. But you know what though? This is some real shit. Yeah. This is real. This is Cause something like that for Tony, they should have dropped those egos and said, you know what? This is our big sister. Even if Let's do one that. of them got on that stage yeah. and sang. Even if they all them. can sing, then they couldn't even give Tony a damn speech. They couldn't even give. They couldn't do nothing. Felt so bad for Tony. Even Miss Braxton couldn't get up there and sing if she wanted to. That's a shame. It's, it's just they, but this show is really therapeutic for them too, and you guys get to see their lives unfold on TV. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, once they get to that common place, it's just be the end of Braxton family values and let them have their spinoffs. And but I don't think the spinoffs should come until they really, really sit down and evaluate themselves and try to really help each other and get to happy. Do you think this is gonna be season three? Mm hmm. I mean, the show is successful enough for season three. Lord knows it is. Mm -hmm. But do you think that the sisters themselves... Let me tell you something. Season? Like Tony. I, you know what? Honestly, I don't know. Because um, Tony looks like... I don't think we're going to see... I don't think we're going to see a change in Tamar on the show no. until Vince goes into the hospital. Today's probably... I don't know how much they shot of that. But that's when I think we're going to see a change. But is that on their new show? Because I could have hey. sworn that... I could have swore that she said that when they were shooting their show, that's when all that happened. But I know, I know for sure they were shooting because I was in New York, and when they the were still shooting. Still shooting. Yep. Yeah. So you know, she was at the hospital and stuff. So I, I just, I just, I, I know right now, you know how she be boom, boom, pow, crash, boom, pang. I just think we're going to see a change very soon, and we just haven't seen it yet. But you know, I'm holding out for it. I'm holding out for I it. I am too. <laughs> I am too. But yeah, um, I think I think we that's it. No, uh, we we got more to talk about. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Child, see she's forgettable. Say no, I'm sorry. Hi Kaya. Um, Kaya is a fan of the Scorpion show. Let me tell you, I was on BGC when I was in ATL, and one of our workers even hit me up on BGC. That's because she has those Child. are the ones who are watching us. Cause I don't think she really. I think she probably does watch us, but I think it's the people who work with her who are watching oh, us and got nothing sitting. else better to do. Okay, she is sitting up on YouTube watching. So people. what did the worker say? Or you know, he was saying that. Oh no, he was just saying that they big fans of the show. They all they watch it all the time. <laughs> her too. So and then she wrote Den on like Den left a message on yeah. Facebook, and then she wrote Den like you know I love um, the Scorpion show blah blah blah. Like she even know who Dem was, or something like. If she know who Dem was, she's watching. Yeah, cause he was so, only in that one episode. Yeah, and like she remembered him. So you know, shout out to Kaya. You know, she came out with a new song. I'm even giving her some free promo like I do everybody else. She got a song out called Pussy, Pussy something, Pussy, Pussy something. But I like it. I like the stuff Kaya sing about. It's about getting your money for your pussy or whatever. It's, you know, it's out. Kaya got it out. It's on iTunes. Y'all can check it out. Um, she came for my co-host. Now, I'm not for that Kaya now. <laughs> she did. Because she, she, you and her actually made up. Yes. And then she got on Twitter today and said that I was tired yeah, because and Because I don't ever do... Because when, I, when we, she made her video, she didn't ever talk about you. No, she never did. I don't talk about But me. I think that somebody probably said, you know what, Kaya? I think you went in a little bit too much <laughs> on this cabin. <laughs> so <laughs> now it's time for you to go on the co -host. Yes. So call him trying. tired and delayed. But I think the whole tired and delayed routine is kind of late. Mm -hmm. I think it would have been funny had she came at the both of us together. Mm -hmm. Then it would have been classic. But I think now her saying that I'm tired and delayed, like <laughs> she's just trying to keep her name out there. But that's cool, Kai. You know, you got. I just get it out. There. I was shocked. And don't get me wrong, I definitely laughed when I saw that tweet. I was just like, oh my god. Talking about I want to be your coach. Well, first of all, you who said that? Kai. You want to be my coach? You want to come on the scooping well, show? Well, I told. Okay, you know what, Kaya? Let me just say this. Since you and this one to my left are such good girlfriends, how about I tell you this little secret? How about early on in the game when you and him were going through your little spat with each other, I told him that he should invite you on the show as an for an interview. Oh, no. 
I'm not gonna invite her on my show. I, I, I'm only gonna invite her on my show if she got something coming out. I said no, but it would be great if you had. We had. Oh, yeah. Oh. I, was, I thought I was going to see her in Atlanta. Yeah. I ain't see her nowhere. She didn't even come out for MLK weekend. <laughs> no, not even to Martin Luther King house. I thought I was going to see her there. Because she go to the Tupac Center. She didn't uh, go to the Martin Luther King Center. <laughs> <laughs> but Kaya, you know, you know what? You know Ooh. what? Me and Kaya, me and Kaya has that love. Patty LaBelle, Aretha, Aretha Franklin, Franklin. Pa mm -hmm. you know, um, not Mother Knows Best. What's the name of that Patty show? Patty LaBelle. Patty LaBelle videos. Two got to be real. Mm -hmm. That's the type of relationship we have. But you can't come from a con. You can't be a cause because we don't use scripts, okay? No, we she can look. come from me all she wants to. And she can be a a, a celebrity guest co-host. Yeah. She can't be a co-host where though I'm not here. I need to oh, be I here. Know, yeah. <laughs> I need to be here. Just I'm going to try to get straight with you. Because I'm going to come right by. Don't get no, straight. I'm going to tell you something. It's going to be a <laughs> read session. Yeah, it is. And I'm be like, so Kaya, you, been, you ain't ever hit in eight years. <laughs> Why do you think that? I'm, I'm going to be Barbara Walters. And she's going to read me and I'm going to still be kind. You know, I just I just want to know, like, what do you think of Trina? You know, Trina still got an album coming out. She still got a record label. Nicki Minaj. Yes. You know, she said Nicki Minaj said she's the female Wheezy. How you feel about that? <laughs> do you get? Do you like her uh, too? Would you lick her pussy? You know, I want to know. I just want to know. Um, ooh, Kaya. Kaya, you know what though? I don't know what's going. What you could do to make it work? Maybe you need to come out with a re remix of My Neck and My Back. Cause somebody sent me a video of this. Um, did you hear it? It's like it sound like uh, Frank Sinatra singing it. Have you ever heard it? Mm -hmm. Let me let me let you hear it. Are you sure it's Frank Sinatra? It's not Frank Sinatra, but it's a new version of My Neck, My Bad. Hold on, My Neck, My Bad. Can you do me a favor too? Yes. Can you pull your pants up? Stop looking at my ass. I'm just saying when you walk away, that's not a, a image I want. Don't to look. <laughs> Here we go. And then I'll make a face like that about me. Okay. And then he's remix, and then she come in. Okay. And then it be like real fast. Not this. Like this could be like the opening. Mm -hmm. I get it. She needs something, cause but that that's all I'm gonna put the link there. I'm looking at my ass, okay? I'm gonna look. Don't look. I got my sweats on. I've been working out. My thighs are still on fire. Uh, oh, 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 I could, I'll be getting, but I won't. I could, oh, I could, oh, but I, I won't. Ow, oh, you know you gotta get that. You gotta get it tight, get it right. Oh, I'm on that. my, I'm on my Sizzle Fitness. I hope you come this year. Um, Actually, I won't be there this year. I'm going away. Where you going? Where are you there? That's. Oh, yeah. First of all, I don't have no boo. But see, I have that's still that's that. Oh, did I just leak that? I'm a baby. No, you just spread. You just did a whole live. When Allegedly. Ain't no allowed to do nothing. I don't according, no according to Star Magazine, Mikel got caught this weekend driving around Philly with somebody. Who was that? <laughs> Nobody. Was nobody in my car? And they, and they wasn't just church. Going to church. I'm trying to tell you they wasn't. He's a, he's a ball face guy. Yes. yes. And shout out to Trap Boy and Hot. What's his name? Hot Rod. Hot Rod. You know what? I just want to say, y'all entertained me yesterday. But you know what's so funny? Because let me just say this, because I usually don't comment on stuff like that. Hot Rod and Trap Boy. First of all, it kind of confused me because the both of y'all have been in a scene together. How do I know? Because I've seen it. Um, was it hot? <laughs> it was all right. Um, of course, Trap Boy was on the bottom. Yeah. Um, as he usually is. But I mean, I'm getting to each other. Yeah, I'm just... Ah, ah. So then, Hot Rod was subtweeting Trap tra Boy because he never added him. He was just mm -hmm. and calling him Trappy. So Hot Rod treated and what treated tweeted in one of his tweets about him having a degree and about him doing this. And I had to say pause because okay, fine. There's a lot of people out there that have degrees and this, that, and the third. But what use are you putting your degree to? Because you and Trap Boy do the same thing. Y'all both do porn. In no way, shape, or form are you any better than he is, okay? Because I think a lot of people, and even though they may not want to admit it, because a lot of people out there like to bash Trap Boy and saying that he has this disease and that disease, which nobody really knows 100% if that's true or not. But a lot of people watch him. You know, a lot of people do watch him. I think a lot of people watch both of y'all equally. So when Hot Rod went off about this whole, oh, I have a degree, I was just like, yeah, but first of all, a degree in what? That's first of all. And 
that degree means nothing if you're not putting it to use. I mean, you make a living doing porn, which, I mean, hey, to each his own. If that's how you get your coins, if that's how you get your rocks off, then fine. That's what you do. You do it and you do it well. But don't be throwing that degree around. That's just like me telling, that's just like Royce on Miami Basketball Wise. I graduated from here and I have a degree in this. But you're on this reality show called Basketball Wives, and you're not even a basketball. You better wife. say it, Nene, okay? Because that's something Nene be saying. You're all not the time. even a basketball <laughs> wife. You're not a basketball wife, and you don't like. So how can you throw around this whole degree thing? I have a degree. I have a degree. I have a degree. But what do you, what use are you putting your degree to? Show me the use that you're putting it to a hot rod, and then I'll jump on your wagon and say, "Oh, there, you got it." But until then. From these eyes, I look at you and Trap Boy as the same, in the same boat, wearing the same life jacket. Both of y'all do porn. Both of y'all get made, get paid for doing porn. You may probably have more awards than he does, but so what? So what? So what? Beyonce has more awards than Mariah Carey. It don't make her better than Mariah Carey. So what if you have more awards than uh, Trap Boy? That don't make you better than Trap Boy. I just want, I don't want them to fight because my timeline was going off about this fight. Yeah, like it was an unnecessary stupid fight because apparently Trap Boy, from what I got, Trap Boy tried to talk to Hot Rod and Hot Rod turned him down. But I thought everybody knew that Hot Rod was messing with that Angel Valentino person. Oh, well see, when, when I was reading Hot Rod tweets, it was saying how Trap Boy was talking bad about him behind his back, so that's why he went off like that on Twitter. Oh, well. Whatever, so, the, case know, you know, whatever the case may be, yeah. I'm sure both of y'all got each other's numbers. But y'all gave So me. you could have called him Hot Rod if you really felt some type of way. Take the Mikel route, okay? Don't even do that whole going back and forth on Twitter stuff. Especially if you know that person, because I'll tell you in a minute, on Twitter or Facebook. If you got my number and you got something to say to or about me, you got two options. You can either text me what you got to say, or you can call me. But all that going back and forth from Twitter and Facebook, especially if we got each other's numbers and we know each other, I, 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 I'm sure you got Trap Boy's numbers, and if you don't got it, I'm sure you could have got it. So if that whole going back and forth on Twitter, you just did that, you did that for a show. And I'm still trying to figure out how I have more followers than you and him put together. I'm still trying to figure that out. But hey, that's neither here or the one there. Okay? And you guess what? The porn girls. I didn't even have to take my clothes off to get those followers. Mm. Mm. Get your life. And guess what? And I don't even have a degree. Mm. I got a diploma. Mm. And I'm still making money. Uh, on that note, and I still look good. Uh, uh. And on that note, I'll be watching you guys mm. on my vidster to. Uh, <laughs> you are such <laughs> a sloppy hoe. <laughs> I'll be watching you guys. You stupid hoe. Thank y'all for watching. We love y'all. We'll be back this week with another video. Mm. Then I got to wait till next Monday. We're gonna get y'all a video before we head off to LA. So um, we might even do a video while we're there. We are because we, we actually going to work too. So. We will talk to y'all soon. Well, probably Thursday. No. Wednesday or Thursday. I'll let y'all know. All right. Yeah, Wednesday because we got an early morning flight. Peace. Oh, my God. Did you